13 years ago, we had an absolutely incredible moment in NHL history. I'm talking about the Alexander Semen bongo drum incident. January 3rd, 2009, my New York Rangers versus the Washington Capitals. Alexander Semen collides with Rangers goalie Steve Valaket of all people, and he's defended by Mark Stahl, who immediately starts to grapple with Semen. Semin, who is obviously not wearing his fight strap, gets his jersey pulled over his head, along with his pads, which is hilarious, and he proceeds to go to Bongo Town on Mark Stahl. I love hearing Sam Rosen and Joe Micheletti just laughing at the situation because it's so ridiculous. Now watch. <laughs> Beat, he's beating the drums! But this is the moment me and my buddy Brandon, who sometimes helps with scripts and editing for the channel, would sometimes recreate with our arms flailing, and it's just memorable to me. Why am I bringing this up? Well, it was recently reported that Alex Semin wants to travel with the Capitals once OV gets close to Wayne Gretzky's all-time goals record. And who was that flying down the ice alongside Semin in that video? Well, it was OV. Semin, by the way, who played in the KHL as recently as 2021, had 650 NHL games with 517 points. With production like that, what happened? Well, if you look at his production, he had a very dramatic drop-off. During the year of his bongo incident, he was one of the best scorers in the NHL. He had 79 points in 2008-2009, 84 in 2009-2010, but he saw a dramatic drop-off by 2015. His speed started failing him, and he scored just 19 points in 57 games. After marking just 4 points in 15 games with the Canadians in 2016, he was put on waivers and would end up signing with the KHL. He announced his retirement last year, and I remember on that post, all the top comments were about his fight with Mark Stahl, how he was the greatest NHL fighter of all time, but he was a great scorer during his peak. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. I'll see you soon.